Hey contractors, today we're going to go over how to request a change order. So first things first, you want to get logged in and go to whichever project we're working on. In this case, we're going to continue working on this Jessica Shipsky project that we've become familiar with. Down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see the change order section, how much money is available and what has been requested up to this point. So in order to request a new change order, we're going to go ahead and hit the plus button and verify, yes, we would like to create a change order. It's going to take us right into the change order section. And here you can see all of the info, requested date, who filled out the, the form itself, who the HUD consultant is, and then here you're going to find the approval sections. So when you're requesting a change order, you want to make sure that you do not proceed with that change order until it's been approved by both the HUD consultant and by the lender. The only reason you would move forward ahead of time would be if it's some kind of emergency or there's going to be some kind of damage caused to the property if you don't proceed quickly. So in order to add that change order, what we want to do is go over here to the add item. We're going to add an item and select the add change order item. And then just like we did before, we need to insert that line item, the labor cost and the material cost. So in this case, we are going to add a 30 foot concrete sidewalk along the side of the home. 30 by three foot. The labor cost on this project is going to be, let's say $2,000, and the material cost is going to be $1,000. If you'd like to add a note, you're more than welcome to, but it's not necessarily needed. In this case, um, sidewalk to be added after the driveway is completed. We're gonna go ahead and add that item. What you'll notice down here is there's already a HUD change order fee built in. This is just part of the process and part of the payment that the HUD consultant receives in order to fill out the paperwork and get it all submitted and sent into the lenders. So this will be part of every change order no matter what. You can't edit it, you can't subtract it, just part of it. So what you'll see is we've got our HUD change order fee and then add a 30 foot concrete sidewalk along the side of the home, labor cost, material cost in total. So once you're completed putting in your change order, you're gonna go ahead and hit submit change order. This sends an email out to the HUD consultant and to the lender to make sure that they approve of this work. Again, do not do the work until this has been approved. You will receive an email upon approval and that means you can proceed with the job. So quick easy video on how to put in a change order and get that sent off to the HUD consultant and the lender.